Greetings, Cagelings. Cage and Prime here with my live reaction of The Promised Neverland, Chapter 132. Um, I don't know a title yet. Uh, let's see here. The Demons Gather. Our gratitude for coming all the way. Also, uh, before I forget, um, the, uh, I forgot her name, but Lewis's older sister is not the queen as I previously thought. I got confused. <laughs> uh... Let's see here. But yeah, our gratitude for coming all the way here. Her Majesty has called upon you today to deal with the notorious matter of uh, recent robbery and the measures to be taken. Okay. Three fingers on one finger. Three rings on one finger on one finger. I, I don't know. I'm anymore. Three rings on one finger. Who that? What is up with that one? She's got one finger that's like curling. <clears throat> like a hibiscus on a... I think it's hibiscus. Probiscus. Yeah, probiscus. Of a butterfly. Very well. <clears throat> um, also, another thing. Because I'm bad at self-promotion. Um, I just posted one piece. My hero is next. Stay tuned for that. Um... Do Punishment is the name of the chapter. You may look up. The Queen... They said she wasn't the Queen. Or not that... Or was it that I'm mixing up the fact that it's like she isn't... Or not. I don't know. The Queen... Ligra... Ligra Valium. I don't like this name. It's hard to pronounce. Um, <clears throat> and uh, five regent families. Uh, Duke Iverk. Uh, Lord Bayon, current head. Uh, Lord Doza. Um, lady Gnome. Oh, so you're a lady. And Lord... Poopo. <laughs> I, I like Poopo, Gnome, and just saying Doza. Uh, robbery. Oh, those weird attacks that have been happening on the farms of every land. The incidents increased even more the past half year. The consequent, or consequent, what? Consequent shortage of human meat has been increasing local unrest. Some are said to even be the uh, procure uh, to be procuring meat from other farms. I can't read. Sorry. <clears throat> Soon we shall have in or have need of the military to suppress this pop or suppress the populace. They have a military. Okay. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but still. Like, there's been no presence of it that I'm aware of. Um, it's as they say, the dominions of Lord Bayon and Lady M uh, Gnome have been hit especially hard. Okay. In all truth, this is already a disaster. Come on, Doza, don't rub it in. The blazonry, everything he says gets on one's nerves. <laughs> <clears throat> Nah, the problem goes far beyond our dominions. It's not been made public, but Lambda and many of the farms in the series have already been destroyed. The damage already done to the to your majesty and to our fellow lords is no trivial matter, surely. Indeed, and yet the gravest issue is the criminal perfection of their method. The way their attacks so flawless or flawlessly as if they have full knowledge of the internal security. Moreover, mm, excuse me, farms dealing in high intelligence levels such as Lambda and its series seem to be targeted uh, yeah, with preference. The, I can't say that word. Bah, by these new robbers. As yet, 
we still know not in which manner uh, could commoners acquire the means to. But it, so what are there? Is this, uh, what's his name? Garan? Doing this? Or is this human work? I don't know. Uh, but if we assume that the bandits are feeding on the meat of Lambda and related, then their power and intelligence are already far beyond lowly commoners. What we have here must be a tremendous power in the hands of those who grudge us. Alarming indeed. And she just peer. Okay, so she does have long fingers, so maybe they do just curl up like a proboscis which is funny that I mentioned that about the butterfly before when she pierced one with her freaking long ass finger um I care not whence came the scoundrels defiance will not be tolerated we find them we capture them and we put an end to them why even capture them it should just be we find them we kill them um send word to the entire army we are to uh, form execution squads from uh, from now on. Yes, sir. Okay. So that's happening. We already have hints of their headquarters. This matter transcends the dis or the divisions of dominions. So all will join forces to crush them. Punishment is due. We shall settle this. With Sorry about the ice maker in the background. We shall settle this before the Trafari ceremonies. Oh, okay. They have quite the army. <laughs> I mean, they've got like some, they got some big boys. They got, looks like armored boy. That one's wielding a shield. I'm surprised. I guess they are prepared, prepared to fight, you know, other demons as well. I mean, so having weapons and whatnot would benefit them. I would assume it's Garan's faction that might be stealing from those farms, but I'm not sure. Um, I mean, using probably information and intel that, you know, Norman gave them. Uh, let's see, okay, so they're marching out of the capital. Okay, we've, we've got a human spotter. Who is that? They've got an owl on their shoulder. I have to warn the boss. Wait, is that... What, what is his name? Fuck. He's one of the two new guys. It was him and the fast boy. Um, I totally forgot their names already. I I suck. Um, but yeah. Okay, so the owl has come about. Vincent has it. They've started. Good. The first move. All according to the plan. Okay, so Norman is playing chess with himself. <laughs> or is this just orchestrating his plan in a physical look? You know, so it's like, oh, this, I'm moving my piece. It, this is very symbolic, I guess. Um, uh, by raiding the farms and disrupting production, we increase disfaction, or dissatisfaction amongst the people. We then force the hand of the monarchy, who has to take countermeasures against the raiders. It's going well. Our goal is to make the heads of the royalty and all the five families, even clashing with Galan. Oh, I was saying Garan, but no, it's Galan. As uh, forces, the royal army had a tad too many powerful soldiers. Oh, now he's just grabbing up a bunch. This way, we begin our dividing their power. Or begin by dividing their power. My bad. Uh... They will now concentrate on apprehending us robbers, but they'll be chasing after a mirage. And believe the raiders, they believe the raids in Lambda and the other farms were carried out by other demons. Ah, <laughs> we have Shmi to think. Oh yeah, Shmi's name. I, I forget that that's a name. Uh, to thank for that, he made the. Uh, destruction of Lambda seemed that way. Uh, furthermore, from the pattern of locations of our attacks, the enemy uh, will now have narrowed down the location of our headquarters. Are you inviting the demons for a visit, boss? <laughs> I'm not 
uh, revealing the location of this hideout. They'll be targeting a different place altogether. The Lambda series itself has been invaded. The nobility will surely be mobilizing as many soldiers as they can, which is great for us because this army won't be able to hit us. And then soon it'll be Trafari. Or Tafari. Um, the royalty and the five region families will gather in a single hall for the ceremony. And this year, the security during the event must be short, will be short on hands, indeed. Ah, but then we will strike eight days from now. Boy, Norman is looking quite old in this picture. Uh, while the Tafari is taking place, we'll assassinate the queen and the nobles. Okay, so everyone's happy about that, except for Vincent. He looks a little more like, hmm, you sure this is going to work, <laughs> kind of thing. Only eight days. Eight days, and we will change the world. Okay, so Barbara's really hyped. <laughs> uh, the game is on. Now for the next move. There's that issue still. What will you do about the girl with cursed blood? As long as she exists, our goals can't be taken to full conclusion. What now, boss? I already have a plan, of course. Okay, now we're with the kids. What? The boss is calling you. Don and Gelda. Oh, no. He's going to send them out to go find her because they... She... To go find Musica because Musica wouldn't suspect them. And then bring her there. And then Norman has her killed. And... Shit nuggets. Uh, Emma ain't gonna like that. Norman might be killed by Emma at some point in the series. Uh, uh, I don't want that to happen, but I, I, you know, because she views music as a friend, and if my hypothesis is right, it's like, oh boy, there's going to be a struggle. Um, Norman? Us? Hey, Emma. Okay, now we're with Emma and Ray. So they're still outside that gate, I'm assuming. Hey, Emma. What we're after... Ooh, excuse me. What we're after the seven walls, right? Yes. And we came in through the entrance, right? Uh-huh. Meaning, we're now beyond the threshold, right? Right. This must be the place that the tower painting showed as pitch black. Yeah. I guess because no one had ever seen them and ever came back? <laughs> or people saw them, but they never came back? Or couldn't figure out how to come back? So then people just assumed it was like, oh, it's a void. Everyone's dead. <laughs> uh, then what in the world is that? I don't understand. How can it be? Oh, Lord. Is that Grace Field House? It's the Grace Field House. Okay. I'm wondering, does it show where your heart desire is? Because it could be one of those kinds of things. Because I, I, that... This would be the time when we're getting into spiritual, mystical stuff that that kind of card gets played. Before their eyes, the very house of their childhood. But wouldn't it partially burn to the ground? Which is more reason why I think it's just an image of where they want to live, where all of them were happy and together. And before all of this happened... <laughs> The Promised Neverland, Chapter 132, End. Well. <laughs> like I said, I think that's where that's going. Also, the whole thing with if what Don and Gelder are being summoned by Norman to do is possibly to go find... Because they are the next, like, most advent... Well, not adventurous. And maybe this will give Don and Gelder something to do. Maybe we'll actually get to see them go quest out for Musica. And like I said, because Musica is friends with them, she's not going to suspect anything. It's like, come. It's like, we found our friend. It's like, it's like we have safe haven for the time being. We, we've got stuff going on and we need your help. And it's like, oh, sure, I'll go help. And then, bam. 
it's like it was an ambush and it's like kill her and it's like oh crap nuggets <laughs> uh, you know something like that and then when Emma and Ray come back Ray probably isn't going to be too happy but Emma might attack Norman I don't think she would but she might I mean who knows emotions can flare in the series just like any other so hmm. but anyway uh, let me know what your thoughts on the chapter were the the royals are really just shorthanding themselves right now but they seem to be thinking they're fighting demons when they're actually not <laughs> eh, or trying to pro or pursue demons not the humans but anyway uh yeah let me know your thoughts uh, anything i might have missed or misunderstood um but thank you for watching like comment and subscribe here's where you can find me links down below and until next time key roll out